Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 103, looking at a wonderful deck in Vintage, Vintage Dredge. There are several different pillars in the Vintage format, one of those being Workshop, another one being Control, another being Storm or Combo, and what's probably my favorite is some type of a value deck that's based around having some wizards, taking some control and actually attacking with creatures. The deck here I'm going to focus today though revolves around one card which is banned in Legacy, Bazaar of Baghdad. This card surprisingly is legal in EDH and I've seen it contribute to some second turn wins. It is just amazing. It allows you to draw two cards and discard three cards. This is an activated ability and not a spell, so it's very, very difficult for individuals to counter it without something like Stifle, which is not very popular in Vintage currently. This card enables some very fast wins. We're going to look at the deck a bit more. One thing to notice though before we get into the deck list is what's missing. There's no Black Lotus, there's no Ancestral Recall, there's no Lion's Eye Diamonds. Now, some people have said to me, can't you make a better vintage dredge deck if you throw in all these wonderful power cards? I tried that. It really doesn't work. It gets worse, and it's more susceptible to counter spells. So there's a reason these guys are intentionally missing some of the most powerful cards in the format. Yes, you could technically speed dredge up, but then it runs into to a lot more problems when it comes to counter spells. Here's the list that I'm currently playing with, and it's got a few cards that are a little bit different than the standard list. Uh, the important part, though, is that it's got four Bazaars of Baghdad, it's got four Serum Outers, it's got four Bridge from Belows, and it's got a lot of different dredgers. We're going to get into the details of these in a little while. The things that I've got here that's a little bit different are things that I've stolen from Legacy. Dread Return is just an incredible card. It when combined with Flamekin Zealot, can speed your kill up by an entire turn, which does matter a bit in Legacy, and even more so in Vintage. It does open you up to a bit more on the counterspell side. I'm also trying Faith Stitcher currently as a way to combo out a turn faster, to kill faster. Now the deck that I see most people running is this deck. It has the same basic cores, the four Bridge from Belows, the four Golgari Grave Trolls, and the four Bazaar Baghdads. It does not include the Dread Return package and kills a little bit slower, but it is stronger when playing against Counterspells specifically. For a Vintage deck, this is actually a pretty inexpensive deck. The entire cost of the deck is about $1,500, and that includes four Bazaars of Baghdad, which are about $1,200 of that cost. You can find beat bazaars often though for as low as 250 or so. So you could really put this deck together for a lot less than your average legacy or even modern deck. Let's look at the lands in here. Undiscovered Paradise is wonderful in Dredge because it returns to your hand, it doesn't do any damage, and occasionally, once in a while, you may have to wait until you have seven cards in hand so that you draw an extra card and then discard a dredger. Uh, in those rare cases, it's nice to have the Undiscovered Paradise. City of Brass is in there because it produces all different colors of mana. The damage usually doesn't matter that much in Vintage, but can occasionally, which is why the Undiscovered, I think, is personally better. Petrified Field is also in here, which is a wonderful card because it allows you to bring the Bizarre Baghdads back from the graveyard. Wastelands are very common in Vintage, and this is a great way to try to deal with those. As I mentioned, Bazaar is incredible. One thing to remember is it's not legendary. You can have two of them in play at the same time and use both of them. If you get an opening hand with two Bazaars, you are always going to keep it. In fact, you pretty much ship every hand that doesn't have a Bazaar of Baghdad in it when mulliganing. How you get away with that is Serum Powder. Serum Powder is a very, very strong card in this deck. You have to be careful to make sure you don't accidentally remove your wing conditions while you're mulliganing with Serum Powder, because it allows you to set the cards to the side and draw up to however many cards you had in hand already. But it really enables you to have eight bazaars for the purposes of mulliganing. Narc Amoeba is another wonderful card in this deck. It gets creatures directly into play while you are dredging. You often sacrifice Narc Amoeba 
to a cobble therapy so that you can put additional zombies in play. Bridge from Below is a staple in this deck. Very good card. I know that it has a three black casting cost, and this is really what confuses a lot of people. You never, ever, ever cast this card. This card always sits in the graveyard. While it's in the graveyard, it has these effects that when every non-token creature is put into the graveyard, you put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature into play. And when a creature is put into an opponent's graveyard, if Bridge from Below is in the graveyard, remove Bridge from Below from the game. The card actually has no effect in play. I'm not sure why it even has a casting cost. Your Dredgers are also a staple in this deck, Golgari Grave Troll being the best by far. Golgari Thug is pretty good also. Stinkweed Imp is decent. Um, both of them at 5 and 4 are not as good as the Troll. If you ever have a choice to dredge the Troll, always dredge it over the other ones unless you're going to run out of cards in your deck. Icarid is another great addition in this deck. It really helps you deal with the control decks. I have won several games where someone has shut down my bazaars with Wastelands by killing them turn after turn with an Icarid, occasionally sacrificing those Icarids to start things out of their hands with the Cobble Therapies. Bloodgast is another wonderful card in this deck. It's another type of Narc Amoeba effect, a creature that you can get into play without having to traditionally cast it. Cobble Therapy is the best hand destruction in this deck. It is a very skill-intensive card, and it's very difficult to play in Vintage because there's a lot of one ofs in people's decks. But you're often able to cast this card twice. You sacrifice your mar Narc Amoeba, get a few zombies, then sacrifice one of those zombies to take whatever's really important in their hand. There are some other singletons that we occasionally see added to decks like this. Um, I'm a big fan of Dark Blast if you're playing against creatures. Uh, Deckmore Salvage is also a nice way to get additional mana if you need it. Occasionally when playing against Workshop decks, you need to get one mana out so that you can cast your spells like Cobble Therapy. Uh, this is a way to guarantee that if this deck has a stocked graveyard, you've got a way to get a land back into play. Sideboarding options are very, very diverse in this deck. Uh, it has answers to pretty much everything, and you always want to side in those answers for Game 2 or Game 3. Vintage Dredge often wins Game 1 and has a huge problem with Game 2. When playing against the Mirror Match, Leyline of the Void is simply the best answer. It allows you to continue to go off, but prevents your opponent. It's also tougher to get rid of. Some people try playing Abrupt Decay, and Abrupt Decay does not hit it. Uh, Nature's Claim is definitely a better card, which does hit Leyline of the Void. Against Artifact decks, my favorite is Ingot Chewer, because the Evoke is very difficult for people to counter. And it feeds into Dredge really, really well. Ancient Grudge is also very nice as it can be cast from the graveyard. Nature's Claim is the best one casting cost green removal out there. Change the Vapor is extremely good for a blue removal. For enchantments, Whisper Mare is another great one because of the Invoke ability on it. Uh, Chains of Vapor and Nature's Claim are other great answers to enchantments. If you're dealing with faster combo decks, Unmask is a wonderful card that allows you to look at your opponent's hand, it's free to cast basically, and rip out the piece of the combo that they have. Mind Trap I've also seen, and if you want more protection beyond the Unmask, I would strongly consider Thought Seize. Thanks, this has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. I'd like to thank all of the sponsors that are out there. I've got a few sponsors over on Patreon currently. Also, if you're interested in sponsoring the channel, please contact me. Thanks.